I'm at the Oriental Institute at the University of Chicago and I am making uh, tin types for an exhibition that is, that is making portraits of modern day professions and their corresponding ancient artifacts from the Near East and Far East like Egypt and Iran and Iraq. In the process of uh, getting to know all the sitters, I'm making the tin type uh, made with the wet plate collodion process. So this is a modified 4x5 film holder meant to hold tin types, meant to hold little iron plates, aluminum plates. I started out doing some regular film photos and I, I was satisfied, but I was, I was thinking about the actual exhibit itself and how people were supposed to engage with their artifact that matches up with their profession. Um, I was thinking about the history of photography. Many of the photographs made of the American West and the American surveyors, uh, they use wet plate collodion. And also during, I believe during the Civil War, uh, they use wet plate. And this is called flowing the plate. So I pour salted collodion and try to get an even pour. And what I learned is that collodion is made of uh, like gun cotton and alcohol and ether. And this was used to, as a kind of a first aid bandage in the Civil War. Um, it was a sticky substance that uh, was used to protect wounds. And I'm going to put this in a silver bath and sensitize the plate to make it light sensitive. So in essence, I'm making my own film right now. And this happens in under safe light. I'm going to turn this off and insert this into the silver bath for three minutes. Tin types in particular are very cheaply made and it dates back to the very early days of photography. Uh, so just thinking about what would my ancient artifact be, I chose the tin type to be my uh, ancient artifact. Even though it's only 150 years old, in photo terms, it's, uh, it's ancient. And off we go. The flash of light that Brian was exposed to was really, really bright. So instead of people waiting around and, and staying stiff for two minutes, um, I blast them with light and that makes up for the time uh, that the light builds up over two minutes. Okay. Okay. The dark room uh, that we have here is actually a laundry room. It's just a space where I prepare the tintype plate. After I expose the plate, that's where I also develop it. And it has to all be done within a 10 minute window because when it dries, then uh, it'll be all for naught. So now I'm gonna go under the safe light again and ex uh, pour my developer which lasts for about 20 or 30 seconds. It's important that this pour be very even. I'm slowly watching Brian's image come up. And now I'm gonna stop it. Once I recognize the shapes in the photo. Really when the shadow details start coming up. So now it is no longer light sensitive I can actually turn on the light now. And I'm going to put this into Fixer. It's like this blue latent image right now. Let's so bring this out in the light. Let's see what Brian thinks.